Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have something completely different for you today. Uh, we have a scenery commission that one of our clients has commissioned us to do. Really, really cool project uh, and we're going to have a look at that in the uh, in this video today. Uh, but before we move on, if you are new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then Siege Studios as a business is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service. Uh, we have 28 painters that all paint from an above tabletop level as a minimum all the way up to competition entry quality. Uh, so that's what we do as a business. And if you are interested in a quote or a commission with us, then very simply, what we need to do is head to the description of this video where the link to our website's contact form can be found. Click on that link, head to the contact form, select the drop down options from that are available for, this, for your project and best match what you're looking for. And then also in the message section, include a list of models in our format, which is also shown on that contact form. Fire that off to us to get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome, awesome trench network in more detail. See you guys back in a second. So guys, let's have a look at this awesome scenery commission, which we've had the pleasure of working on for one of our clients. Uh, Simon won the artist here at Siege, had a great time working on it. It's been real fun, a different sort of project. We don't really do a lot of scenery, and um, I think if memory serves correct, this is the first scenery job that we've done for one of our clients uh, in a very long time, if memory serves right. Um, but really, really cool uh, set of trenches, obviously, first and foremost. But then what our clients decided is to add some dead ultramarines or dying ultramarines in their last stand, which is really cool. I'm guessing he plays against uh, someone who collects ultramarines. But We'll move these three parts out of the way first of all because they're just uh, pretty much the same. You will get to have a look at those and then we'll start having a look at these awesome, awesome dying ultramarines, uh, which is really, really cool. Again, here, Simon's had a great time working with blood effects and spatter effects and things like that. You've got this dude here who's just uh, sort of propping himself up on this barricade. He's uh, had a bit of a bad time, lots of uh, wounds and things on him. His leg is uh, has seen better days, as you can see there. So that's just him on this awesome piece of scenery here. He's just uh, sort of propping himself up. And then we'll have a look at one the one the trenches first and foremost so you guys can have a look at this in awesome detail uh, again they've made their last stand and Simon's put them in a variation of different poses and things obviously this dude's just laying on his front he's got some bolter rounds or some rounds in his back there as you can see so they're probably fighting chaos or something uh, you've got another dude laying down there as you can see with lots of uh, very severe injuries to his head and chest uh, we've got uh, this awesomely posed uh, leaning um, missile launcher dude that has uh, sort of decided to uh, yak up his brains over the uh, the railing there which is uh, not the best I got another dude there just been shot in the face as well which is quite horrid uh, and we have this sergeant here who's just uh, you know firing off a last shot uh, with lots of blood and things all spattered over his face as well and the all specs there with loads of little blips and details so the enemies are getting very close there as you can see uh, but he's also got a wound in his chest there as you can see so that's just this awesome and then you've got all the little details all picked out you've got obviously all the crates skeletons and a little promethium there dripping from that barrel um, there's lots of sort of uh, debris and sort of rust and things all done on the gantries inside the trench as well which is really cool so that's just the first of the two trenches uh, and then we'll have a look at the second trench here again same again lots of dead ultramarines um, again you've got this dude here who's obviously had a lot of uh, sort of chest injuries there as you can see uh, another one's been shot in the back there um, and then we've got this other dude here who's uh, sort of holding a grenade uh, maybe he hasn't got the strength to pull the pin out now he's, uh, he's too injured but uh, a defiant last stand there and then we have another chap here uh, that's just uh, obviously unable to use his power fist at the moment um, so there's that guy um, but an awesome awesome uh, sort of trench sort of scenery uh, detailing work done uh, I love all the weathering and chipping on the metal work as well which is really cool you've got all the boxes and guardsmen and bits and bobs all sort of laid up along there and we've got all the crates and everything here as you can see and some more Promethean dripping from that fuel tank there that flamer uh, the spade and everything and the ammo hopper, the grenade round sort of magazine all picked out there in a lovely fashion. And again, we've got all that rust and everything that's just inside this trench network with some extra sort of sand and debris and detritus all over that sort of gantry work as well. Uh, again, so really, really, really cool amount of detailing work done on these awesome, awesome uh, ultramarines. And really cool to work on a scenery piece as well for our clients. Uh, and I will pull forward the other aspects just so you can see those, just so you can see the weathering on the metals and all the areas of detail work that's been picked out on these. Again, really, really cool uh, sort of extra bits that you can put on the ends of the trench networks just to finish them off again you've got that chap there just leaning on that one uh, and then we've got two more of the same so again just the uh, all the sort of chipping and scratching on that metal work there as you can see and all the uh, crates and skulls and everything picked out um, so again really 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 cool and that is this awesome awesome scenery project uh, which we've just completed uh, we're back in a second to see it again in its glory and find out a little bit more about how you can take a commission without us here at sea See you guys back in a sec.
So thanks for checking this video out, guys, and this awesome scenery commission that Simon's had the pleasure of working on. Something completely different that we've done. Uh, first scenery commission we've actually done uh, as a business, so it's a really cool little project to work on for one of our clients. Uh, so I do hope you liked it. If you are interested in a scenery commission or in a character or army or small force, then very simply, all you need to do is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video. Click on that link to the contact form. And once you get to that contact form, select the relevant drop down options from those available for your project. And then also in the message, section include a list of models in our in our model list format and fire that off to us once we get that we'll come back to you and we can get the process started uh, but yeah thank you ever so much also in the description of this video i will touch upon the fact that all of our social media are linked there so you've got instagram twitter and facebook for you to go and follow and like us respectively on we post loads of content so do go give us a like and follow it takes a couple of seconds to do and you get to see some really cool models and finally while you're here on youtube don't leave the video without hitting subscribe and hitting the bell icon so you get updated when all of our new videos go up. And if you are sort of super fans of Ultramains, and I'm sorry, but do put some comments below. Uh, what would be their battle cry for their last stand? Let us know in the comments. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. So the PDF that you get will obviously have all the step-by-steps -step and information, uh, but along with that, you'll have audio content of each step to listen to while you're looking at the PDF, and it makes it a lot more engaging for you. Using a sponge again, uh, you want to apply Caliban Green this time. Now be quite sparing with it on the sponge because it's a very strong...